Hello, my name is Taylor Tao, and the title of my poster presentation is Fruit Production Within Seattle, Climate Change and Fruit Accessibility. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I would like to talk to you about an important issue that our city, Seattle, Washington, is facing. The impacts of climate change on fruit production and how we can mitigate these effects to improve fruit accessibility for our local communities. As we know, Seattle has been experiencing more frequent extreme weather events, such as heat waves and winter freezes due to climate change. These changes have significant implications for our region, especially considering that Washington State is a crucial player in our national fruit production. So the decline in fruit production not only affects our local communities, but also increases food insecurity and has impacts on environmental justice. To address this issue, I asked myself, how can we mitigate the impacts of climate change on fruit productions in Seattle and improve fruit accessibilities for our local communities? To find answers, I interned with an organization called City Fruit, which focuses on improving and managing fruit tree health and produce and production um, in neighborhoods across Seattle. Um, during my internship, I analyzed their fruit tree database to identify patterns that could hinder future fruit tree productions. Um, additionally, I conducted comprehensive research on fruit trees and summarized my findings. Uh, I also participated in volunteer events, gaining valuable hands-on experiences um, on fruit tree management as shown in figure one and two. So for results, uh, my results revealed that apple trees make up the majority of fruit trees in Seattle, um, as indicated in figure three. However, many of these fruit trees are in the backyards of gardens or on personal property left by previous landowners when they moved. Um, knowing that the trees are still there, um, the trees on the property still require treatments and it is crucial for us to reach out and assist new owners. Um, I also discovered that dormancy uh, regulates bud breaking timings for optimal fruit tree production. Um, it, it significantly influences uh, it is significantly influenced by extreme weather conditions, which directly impacts the quality and quantity of fruit production. So to cope with heat waves, um, we employ strategies such as providing more coverage, avoiding pesticide usage, and using wa water-soluble fertilizer. On the other hand, to manage winter freezes, we can utilize tarps for added protection, um, delay pruning until after freezing periods and using ethylene based compounds as needed. Uh, and another important finding um, is that planting fruit trees on slopes offers an uh, additional benefit as well as it's well suited for Seattle's landscapes. Uh, fruit tree ripening is delayed on northern and eastern facing slopes, while it is expedited on south facing slopes. Um, however, it's important to note that west-facing slopes are not recommended. Um, taking apple trees as a case study, uh, it is an interesting thing to note that Washington is responsible for 69% uh, of the country's apple production. To optimize tree growth, we should plant them on south-facing slopes to ensure uh, the increased sunlight exposure, especially in our Seattle area, um, and delay pruning to help mitigate frost damage, and utilize shades to reduce excessive sunlight exposures on hot days. So implications. The implications of enhancing fruit production and access to produce go beyond just economic benefits. Um, it is essential to promote environmental justice and fostering healthy diets in our food banks and meal programs. And by taking steps to improve uh, fruit accessibility, we can contribute to a more equitable and sustainable future for our community. So in conclusion, the impacts of climate change and fruit production in Seattle are significant, but by implementing strategies that and my recommendations I have discussed, uh, we can mitigate the effects of this and improve fruit accessibilities for our local communities. Um, together, we can work together for a greener and healthier, more resilient Seattle. Um, thank you for coming and listening to my presentation regarding fruit production within Seattle. I would like to thank my um, site supervisor, Annie, my coworkers, my faculty advisors, uh, Lubna and Eli, my cohorts, my friends and family, um, and thank you all for being so supportive. Uh, do you have any questions?